on the big hill, guys. Woo! Hands up! Ah! Come on, guys, hands up! That was fun. What are you talking about? And here comes the next hill. Ready? It's not as big. It's coming up. Next hill. Ready, guys? Ready, 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 ready? Ah! Alright, guys, what's your favorite part of today? Jam, my mom's or family fun night. Me. I know you're not gonna say school. Jam, my mom's and family fun night, not school. Not school. Jam's family fun night. Oh my. Okay, so I guys, I want to hear like what your favorite way to unwind is. I mean, I'm going to jam right now to like spend some time with mommies. Although, I have to say, it's very stressful in the morning getting there. But once I'm there, I enjoy it. Um, but I want to hear, like, what your way to unwind is. I mean, of course, I like this, but probably my best way to unwind that I like is just hanging out in my jammies at night and kicking back, watching some shows either comedy or like shows about about like the uh, 18th century or something like some kind of old-fashioned show like uh, on channel 12 or something <laughs> my husband will beg to differ anyway um, watching that while like using uh, something on my back to massage my back that would be a good night for me Because that's nice when you have four kids. <laughs> Tell you, what's your favorite thing to do to unwind? Um, to relax. Buzz Lightyear, the coolest um, toy watch ever. TV. He can fly. Watch TV? Yeah. That's how you relax? I thought being a kid was relaxing enough. It's not? No. Really, being a kid is stressful? I want to be a kid again. I want to not be stressed and have to worry about things and have responsibilities. It was fun being a kid, running around. We just ran around having a good, good old time. Ran around the neighborhood. You can't do that anymore. We ran around the neighborhood doing ghosts in the graveyard because we lived near a graveyard and we played all kinds of games, hide and seek. Um, what else did we do? Tag. We had super soakers that we would squirt each other with, have super soaker wars. And of course we had the good old fashioned neighborhood fights where we would fight about whose yard you could be in and why you couldn't be in that person's yard at the time because they did something you didn't like. But it was good old fashioned fun. I miss those times. Fun times. So it's 9.15. Or 9.17 I should say. We're supposed to be here by 9. We're quite fashionably late. And of course we have to park way far away from our church. Because we're late. I'm going to steal the jam treats. Why you want to steal them, the jammy treats for the what teachers? That? That's nothing good. Well, I guess you can have a little piece because it's left over. Mommy, is that a bagel? Yes. But you don't want to fill up. You got potato soup from my mom coming. Hey. Yummy my mom potato soup with rivels. We need can to share the recipe to the can YouTube have, world can I have this? soon. Can I have it? Ty, how was it helping out with the three year olds? You enjoy those three-year-olds? Today she helped out with a three-year-old class. Mommy, you said let me see you take a bite, and oh. I you did. Okay, let me see. I took a bite. Oh, look at that bite. Can I? 
Mommy, it's very. Can I have a cookie? Baby. You can. You eat that cookie. Good. Mommy. Good. Yeah? Please. Eat the. Um. I can never remember the combination. Um, what? It's over. It's all done. done. Till next month. Bye bye, Jams. Okay, so we're at my mom's house. She's spoiling us with some yummy potato soup. Yep. And we need to post a recipe to it because it's an old Pennsylvania Dutch kind of recipe. Oh boy. It's not your typical potato soup. Yeah, well, there is no recipe. It's dump everything in. It's very creamy and it's got ribbles in it. And if you're asking what ribbles is, it's like little dough balls. And they're very, very yummy to the taste buds. Can I? And I've adapted it from my mom's original recipe and made some changes to it. So, but it's still just as delicious. Mama. All right, what? No, you're not taking a big Recipe coming oh, sometime no. in the future. <laughs> Open the door or something? Open the car door? Yeah, do you want people to come in our van? No. And join us? On the way home? You want that? Little buttons. Huh? Can I push the little buttons? No. Why? Because you'll set the alarm off and we'll hear lots of right, alarms going off. Uh oh, we don't want your baba to get too hot. There's a bird in your front bushes. I saw oh, it. I wonder if he's finding those seeds I put on the front window. Oh, the bird. We must see the bird. Oh. Where is it going? Did you scare him away? Did you scare the bird away? Remember we talked about birds in motion? They don't like motion? They get scared off? You scared I the bird. I away. I was like this. So somebody just woke up from his nap. Today. From falling asleep in the car. He's not too happy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. And you know what mommy said? You know what mama said? I said, I gotta go over here and grab me some nuts. Cause this boy is making me nuts. There he is. The meltdown is over. I got him to sit down and finally eat his lunch. Leftover grilled cheese that he never ate that's stuck stuck it in a bag, put it in the fridge. Because I'm honestly tired of wasting food. Now, he can't eat anything else until he's done his lunch. And it worked. But it only took, uh, how many hours? It's like almost dinner time. We eat at six. <laughs> then he'll probably want not eat dinner. Jolene, what did you just say? <laughs> Yeah, I want to hear this. Daddy can't get soda until he's shaped good. What? Yeah. What do you mean shaped good? <laughs> you didn't say shaped good. You said I'm not allowed to get it until what? Until you get everything fixed on you. Until everything is fixed on me? <laughs> and, I'm in, and I'm in perfect shape? <laughs> but if I'm in perfect shape, then I can't have soda. Because then I won't be in perfect shape anymore. Yeah, that's the reason. No, no, what, so what was the exact word she said? She said you can't buy soda until mommy says so, until you're in, until your body's in perfect shape. Yeah, Grab a yeah, Snickers, yeah. it's going to be a while. Yeah. And I didn't even say that. She's putting words in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I think mommy says it. I did not. No, I say, no, 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 no. I said water. that I think that you shouldn't drink soda because it's unhealthy. Uh huh. But I never is said that, that. Is that what she really said? Mm-hmm. This girl. You know what mommy really wants. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she mm -hmm. wants to adopt, and you're not listening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're gonna adopt! I'm gonna adopt, you're right, when you're 10, we're gonna adopt a puppy! Yeah, rolling my eyes. Yeah. Alright, when's dinner ready, Mommy? I'm hungry. I'm eager, sorry, but. Eager to... We love carrots! We are going to be having. Potatoes. Pomegranates. Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, pomegranates. Oh. 
Oh, oh yeah, we snack on pomegranates. Oh, yeah. Because we want flat bellies. Mm. No, nope, it's because flat it's good. Flat bellies. Because <laughs> it's good like candy. <laughs> no, it's weird. No, it's because it's candy. Uh, Hey, are you like? It's nature's candy. Are you drooling? Do I see drool? It might be blood. I don't know. <laughs> oh my word! How many are you gonna eat of those? I'll eat however much I want. Would you rather me eat these pomegranate healthy pomegranate seeds or soda? I mean, there's only two choices, so pick one. Ah, uh, does it have to be those two choices? Mm -hmm, that's it. That's all you got. one eating again, using up all his time because he's hiding because he's embarrassed. There, Mr. Cohen. Oh wait, why is he a butt? <laughs> he has. <gasps> so Mr. Cohen, it went from set. We set it to seven minutes. Six minutes and fourteen seconds. But now it's over, now it's like six minutes, and he has to eat that in night. six minutes. Can Cohen do it? Can he do it? Can he beat the time? Is he fast enough? Time will tell. We shall see. This shall conclude. You might want to pace yourself. Daddy. Wow. Do we have any for Um, a kid's movie. No, it's a shame he's got a... I don't know what movie you You know, it's really a shame he's got to put it off. You know, like put it off until the until he's down to the wire and try to keep shoveling it in without breaks. Huh? Dahlia is singing in the bathroom. Daddy's videotaping your song. Cohen! What? You spoiled. Hey, Daddy, what's happening? All right. Oh. It's Family Fun Friday night. You know what time it is. Time for popcorn and movie time. We're making our fresh, organic popcorn. I don't know. Popcorn. People don't know what that. Wow. Yeah, we got rid of all that fancy schmancy stuff. We like using stuff from like the 70s. This is called a whirly pop. Oh, they're starting to pop. It's called a whirly pop. You want to come get a close up? Uh, wait. Well, anyway. See those bad boys in there? It's starting to pop. Oh my word. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, dad, daddy. Oh, that's my oh my word. That's that is. Oil in the what are you trying to do? Daddy, kill him? Oh man. Burn his eyeball out? Stay back, bud. It's dangerous over here when daddy's cooking. <laughs> I'm cooking popcorn. I know how to cook popcorn. There you go. They're going to start to pop. So you gotta get yourself a whirly pop because you know what? That makes the yeah. best popcorn ever. Best ever. Makes it way better than those popcorn machines. Yeah, we did microwave popcorn last week. That was so good. That's okay, this is like way better than movie popcorn, people. This is this is movie popcorn on steroids. Oh yes, yeah. movie popcorn on steroids. You gotta get yourself one of these whirly pops and put it in there. Yes, and you put some coconut oil in there, I right? Hear you. The popcorn's too loud. Okay. Do you put some coconut oil in there? Yep. How much? Yep. <laughs> Couple spoonfuls of certified organic raw coconut oil. Oh yeah. You can put on every food imaginable. When it's done, look at that steam, bud. Yeah, he loves he loves making popcorn. And you know what? Daddy is the popcorn man. Like he is him popcorn and pancakes are his two Daddy things. He makes the best popcorn and he makes the best pancakes. Popcorn pancakes. Oh yeah, there's a combo. There's a combo, Daddy. Makes some popcorn pancakes. <laughs> there we go. Look at that nice fluffy popcorn. Oh yeah. And then you top it off with some yummy melted organic butter. <laughs> How does it turn into that? It gets really, really hot and then they pop open and that's what's on the inside. It's like their guts. 
It's like the popcorn guts that we're eating. It's like, mmm, gut. Mm. Do you like popcorn guts? No. It's like the inside <laughs> of the belly of a popcorn. It's just their guts hanging out all over the place. I don't know. He's like, I don't know if I like well, I popcorn anymore. I don't like popcorn anymore, Dad. I used to I love it, but... It's the hot stove. Why do you leave a kid here for? All right, we need to do round two. There he goes. That's a lot of butter actually, that we're ingesting. It's actually not that much. Oh, well, it looks like a lot. But it's melted, so. Yeah, Is it like a stick each? No, it's like a half a stick total. Okay. Or three fourths of a stick. I'm gonna salt it up. I'm gonna salt it three times. Good. A third of a turn. Salt it up again. Give it another third of a turn. And then salt it again. And then hit it with your final turn. <laughs> And there's your popcorn, and that's how it's done. Bang! How do you like them apples? How do you like them apples? We're going to eat our popcorn. Dad, mm. Hi, guys. Right. Hi, guys. And you know what? Popcorn is not complete without Orange Julius. Because that's what I grew up on mm, since I was... Julius. That's what I grew up on since I was little. My mom would make uh, popcorn and Orange Julius, and we would... Go down to the movie theater and watch. Blah, blah, Listen. blah. Let's make it. It's, I'm Whatever. hungry. We're doubling the recipe. So you know what? Cheers, people. Come on. Oh, my. Come on. Oh, you know what? That's right. We're doubling it. So I need to double everything. Uh -oh, hopefully I have room in this blender. Are you kidding me? I'm going to hold, like, enough for two of our families. That's four classes. I think I will. Pause. The magic of editing. There we go. All right, people. Now we need a fourth of a cup of sugar. But I'm going to add double. Wow, Bam. that's Whoa. you're cleaning that mess up. All right. Well, just, I'm just getting it really excited. Just get it in there. Come on, just get it in. Double one. Next, we need uh, two teaspoons. Well, you normally one teaspoon of vanilla, but we're doubling the recipe, so we're adding another. All right, so a little bit more ice cubes. Come on here. Blender, better not wake up the baby. You're putting her back to sleep. Come on, this is a kitchen. Technology, technology. Whoa. Okay, you didn't tell me. That's you why you put that your... on. I didn't. Popcorn already? What did I say about that? You don't steal that popcorn from us, boy. We made that popcorn. That's right. And we ate our dinner, unlike you. And of course, it doesn't come complete without little movie theater popcorn things. That's right. And my husband wouldn't be thinks, movie night without it. My husband thinks he has to add yeah. cheese on it to make it even more unhealthy. Uh, what? Nothing wrong with that. That's a verifiably healthy topping. Whoa. Come on. It's like, that's like 12 cents you just spilled there. Can't afford that mess. Come on. All right, <sighs> here we go. Yummy Orange Julius. All right. So let's set this up. We're going to get it all downstairs. Get ready for the movie night. Kids are ready to rock and roll. Are you ready to rock and roll for movie night? <laughs> Was that a yes? Can't tell. All right. So family fun Friday night. Uh, that was uh, a lot of fun. We've been doing Family Fun Friday nights for quite a long time. Uh, since Talia was probably two years old, uh, we've been doing every Friday night, we will either watch a movie, uh, usually that's what we'll do in the winter time or when the weather's bad, uh, we'll go down to the basement, watch a movie, make some popcorn, make some a delicious uh, frozen drink called Orange Julius, and we will let the kids pick what, whatever movie they want to watch and sometimes in the summer we'll actually go outside and light a fire in the chimney. we'll roast some marshmallows let the kids run around the yard catching fireflies and whatnot it's very very summerific and uh, we do a lot of things like that on Friday nights but 
This night in particular, we made some popcorn, some Mars Julius, and went down to the basement and watched a movie. I believe we watched Peabody and Sherman. It was actually a very good movie. I highly recommend it. And one of the other things we do on our Friday nights is after the movie is over, uh, usually there's some sort of uh, crazy song on that comes on with, during the, the final credits. And when that does, we all get up and do some sort of crazy dance to the song while the, while the lights are still out. And I'll pick up the kids and kind of dance around the basement. And Julie will cry because she'll think about how in, you know, 10 or 20 years from now, it won't be happening and she will cry about that. So anyhow, um, that's our Family Fun Friday night. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you enjoyed watching that as well, go ahead and feel free to comment, share, and also subscribe. And you can see more of our vlog videos. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.